All right, folks, I have really been enjoying um, inking with my new brush. Um, I still want to fix it. You know, I, I don't like this little uh, smudgy thing that it does when I'm at an angle, but um, I do really like the way it works when I'm uh, drawing it normally with a pen straight like this. So we're just going to draw the nodloid now, and we're going to keep it loose. Um, um, my sketch wasn't really that great, but I think with something like this, Let's, let's bring the reference back up. Uh, with this, uh, I'm just going to keep it like... I'm not sure if this will be the final pass. I did four passes for the uh, Mind Flare, so we might end up doing four for the Nautiloid as well. I think four is going to be... I used to think it was three is going to be my, you know, my uh, formula, like my, my secret number of passes. Not secret, but the optimal number of passes that I get, like, the best result. But I think since I'm on a new program... Um, uh, I'm, I think four needed to be done because I was still getting used to like procreate brushes. I think once I get used to it, I, I should be able to do things in like three, um, hopefully uh, two. I think the ideal is like to go Kim Jong-gi status and just do everything in one pass and that's going to be like the way. Um, now with this though, I'm just going to figure it out as I go. I'm going to look at some of the features that um, each of these Nodloids have. Some of them have windows, some of them have little structures and mechanical looking structures. Um, so I'm just going to kind of take pieces from each one. Some of them have like sharp looking shapes. Um, but all of them have that shell with some uh, lines on it. So um, I'm gonna just sort of imagine um, how it goes here. So like the architecture of it. Like some of them one of them had this little, like, almost curtain-looking thing. I think, I'm going to think of it like a ship deck, right? So, yeah, I think I'm going to do another pass after this one. I'm just going to, like, sketch in the structure. And then, um... Yeah, we'll just kind of make things up as we go. Now, I want this to look a little bit more organic, so I'm going to maybe have like a little spiky... Um, structure here, maybe something like this. Just kind of using my imagination here. So this is, I have to remember that this is a spiral. So it's going to stop like at some point. Let's take a look at the other spirals. Yeah, it just kind of ends up with this little circle in the middle. something like this and then let's get those little this I think this is good already. Um, we think I think I need more ores in there. Where are the ores coming out from? They're coming. They're, yeah, they're not coming from the shell itself, but in front of the shell. So these ores here, I think, should be coming from like a base of the shell. Yeah. So so we'll create a base here. Connect it with the um, like structure over there on that side. Let's get some little tubes going on. 
And then, yeah, the ores will be coming out from here. And from the other side, too. And this not always interesting. It's a lot of tentacles. It has like, almost like almost like a rudder looking shape coming from the bottom of each one. Yeah, something like that. And then on this side is going to be the tentacles where it's going to be just sort of attacking everything. Should be a lot more tentacles here. Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is good. And we'll get fire at the bottom and clouds also. Yeah, a few more tentacles here. Fairly detailed. I think we can already start the second pass here because I kind of got the structure of everything. So I'm gonna remove now the uh, uh, references, uh, nautiloid references, and then we'll make nautiloid four. And we'll reduce the opacity of nautiloid three to give ourselves a, let's remove nautiloid two. Let's kind of remove layer one, too, so everything's more clear. So now I'm going to go in there in Nautilite 4 layer. And we're just going to do the real line art now. This should be the final pass. Now, final pass line art is really fun because it's like my sketch is good. I can trust the sketch. And I can kind of just go in there and like really uh, mess with the, the details. I think every stage is fun. I know first stage is very fun because you're like imagining it and sketching things out. Um, and then it's like you're adding detail and structure and it's like you're just cleaning it up as you go with every pass. So I, I really like this, you know, drawing process of just having different layers with like different, um, you know, different uh, things that you want to focus on. Because once the sketch is there and it's, and, and it's good and you feel like you can trust it, you can really, you know like have a lot of fun and freedom like what I'm feeling now because it's like I know my sketch is like decent I know the structure is there I don't have to worry about like uh, it, it's like it's like building a building and then the foundation is already there and then it's just embellishment after that like you can make you can paint paint the walls make the roof fancy you know color things that's how it feels when when I'm doing you know, later, oh, got the little notification right there. I'm not supposed to be getting notifications, but I guess calendar is fine. I turned off the notifications for when I'm recording things. So here, I want to show that it's like round. So I'm going to make some hatching lines here to show that there is a shadow in here as it goes in. Like that. Okay.
or line weight as well. As we go in here in the crevice between the different parts of the shell. I have a funny title for that. My last video is like, can I become the goat of digital inking? And it's like, um, I can feel it. I can feel this, um, you know, I, my experience kind of coming through, um, you know, because I'm not thinking much right now. It's just kind of like making decisions as I go and following the sketch. I, I try to make it easy for myself once I set up a drawing. Now here we can go a little bit more mechanical, so something like this, maybe some little tubes, and maybe some little spikes coming off of it too. Keep it simple though. Line weight here as it goes in. Notice, I'm making things up as I go. But it ends up being a cool result, you know? Let's start getting some more of the structures in the front here. So this I just decided on little arches. Something like this. That's kind of cool. Checking the time here. Um, I gave myself maybe 15 minutes to do this. I'm at, what am I at, 13 minutes now? I might stop the recording because sometimes if I make the video too long, it has trouble recording to, or has trouble uploading to YouTube, and I don't want that on my iPad. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to keep my sessions uh, kind of standardized by 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, made pretty good progress on the Nautiloid, and we'll just keep going today. Um, I, 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 I found myself kind of getting in the zone, and I wish I didn't have to leave, but, um, you know, there's a few things that make me uh, have to um, leave. So got to go to, got to get ready for work, and I also want to keep these videos shorter so that they don't, uh, the file size don't get too big. But anyway, hope you guys have been enjoying my inking videos. Um, once this is all inked, I'm going to send a draft over to the guy and we'll get it all set up, sorted out soon. I'll talk to you guys later. I might send a draft to him too. Bye-bye.